Hello everybody, I am here. One Piece, uh, uh, sorry, my Academia reference, I'm sorry uh, anyone I know who watches One Piece. Ah, Tier 1, hello, welcome, glad you could come back. Alright, let's get uh, Stream Raiders going, because I know someone might show up at some point. Okay, so did a bit of digging, and we have a few decent encounters before the next gym fight appears. And for some reason, my camera has zoomed out. Easy fix, though. Ah, hello, Meg. How you doing today? Let me just configure this. I might look weird at first. There. I would have to watch a quick... Uh, Incursion, because last time I did this, uh... <laughs> no. No one was here. There we go. Yep. Uh, that was a really rough time. <laughs> yeah, I somehow managed to beat that Gengar with just a Vaporeon, so... I'll have to let Tori know I've got Stream Raiders going. Okay. I'll let Tori know that we've started with the Stream Raiders and then we'll be good to start with the Nuzlocke. There you go. Join when ready. Right. There. Okay. So as I said last time, um, I have left our wild area gym encounter for now, so we can have an exciting experience at the moment. And I have decided which wild area we are going to. Which area of the wild area we're going to. The Dusty Bowl. Because there are two encounters there that will really help against the next uh, gym fight. Mainly uh, appears as Scun Tank. Only problem is I won't be able to paralyze it because they're both brown types. And then the other encounter we can get here, because we get two per route, uh, two per area in the wild area. Um, it's mainly going to be uh, Hatena, because I think we do need some more help in the psychic type range. Alright. To the dusty ball we go. The ball will be dusty. After all. Atena does slay. Here we are, the dusty ball. A moonstone. What have also that again? Okay. The main thing I want to get is an extra drill, because that is going to be very useful. But obviously, hip powered on isn't the worst thing either. So, our roaming encounter will be. I guess we're doing the. I guess we're doing the random encounter next. And I'm not sure what to think about the fact that it's a Duck Trio. It's not as that it's not that powerful anymore. And that's the difference. Alright, we got this Doug Trio. 
I know the perfect name for it as well. And I can't catch it while it's in this state. See? But I'll use an X item to make sure I hit, take the hit better. I do unfortunately say that since Doug Trio here has taken up the um, random encounter pool, a ten is out of the question now. I know the perfect nickname for this. <laughs> It'll be funny. I uh, just gotta figure out what would, how you spell it in that particular order. Edna and Nettie. <laughs> it's a perfect name. We'll keep him in the boxes for now. Uh, we'll keep them in the boxes for now. Oh, I need to... Uh, 14. Okay, let's try that again, eh? Our roaming encounter will be... The Hippopotas. It ain't Excadrill, so... Boom. Scratch the Hippopotas. Well, that's the dusty ball gun. Shit. I want one. It's history repeating itself. It's history repeating itself. Now. This is exactly what happened to Pippin. Death charge. I need to stop doing that. Especially with Ruby. Ruby's flipping useful. Hmm. 
Not to worry though, we do have one more area where we can get one more encounter. Before we need to start beating someone up. I think I'd have a love-hate relationship with that. Love that it's a shiny. Hate that the idea of it might potentially dying. <laughs> what are you doing then? What are you getting banned from Facebook for? Alright, let's get back to Sir Chester because there's a lot of dialogue we've got to get past. I think it's a rough situation though, because at the moment my team is really good right now. Blah, blah, blah. You're boring. You're boring, everybody. Oh, come on, dear one. You say something like that and you don't elaborate? Come on, we want to know why you're getting banned. There's a phrase going around here in the US where it's talking about a guy having a choice over it. So I'm advocating for a pair of scissors. Um. Um. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Nickford. I don't know who that is. So, Meg, did you say that my character looks cute? <laughs> Alright, I need to battle this bugger, don't I? I had some spare money from selling revives. Might as well. Alright, time to kick Depresso Expresso's ass again. <clears throat> Especially since he's no longer depressed. As the cool bro.
Bird? No. I think I can take another takedown. I'm good. If you want another update on the rules of this Nuzlocke, uh, feel free to put in uh, the command uh, exclamation point rules. And good going there, Ruby. Pretty good. Pink Kirchen. I think it's time for sh to c for Cole to show his metal. Meet our newest member, Cole. Start off with a, r a bulldoze. Yes, it's called a Pokemon battle. You know when it gives me the uh, choice to mo switch Pokemon before their next one comes in? That. Some people, uh, you can actually have it so like, it doesn't do that. And you're stuck with what you have at the, at the time. Considering it's my first Nuzlocke, it made sense to let me have a bit of a... A lifeline, say. But obviously since I have seven deaths, that's not working. <laughs> that's it, make it slower so Cold make gets more work out of him. Believe it or not, Cole is gonna be the key to us to doing well in this. Yeah. Alright, if he's slow enough, let's try and flinching him. How dare you avoid my move? Do you have that? Okay, uncertainty, uncertainty. That was a good choice. Okay, Kim Pinkurchin's dead. I nearly lost Cole to that. That would have been embarrassing. Use fake item, what can I? I love that animation on it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh shit. Out, out, you're going out, going out. Move, 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 move. Excuse me, coming through. Yeah, bad. Uh, Emily will do good here. <sighs> do you, have you ever watched the film The Corpse Bride? Ha! 
How diverse is this, Snorlax? The thing is, Emily is the name of the corpse bride. I tried to go for a spooky thing with the name. Hey. Every name here is a reference to an animated or an animated character, whether it's from a game, film, or TV. I need to get some to better handle our Snorlax. We need lost a team member there. Luckily, I've still got Luna to deal with this Corviknight. Maybe I should have called it La Muerte. You gotta love the hex girls. Italian. That's Funky Kong's job. Tinkerton moment. Oh right, Corviknight. Uh, I should have thought about that. It's called a. Oh, it's gotta be. That film. That film's over ten years old by now. It doesn't have an ice move, does it? No. For a war move, that was quite power. Oh, crit. Yeah, it does have high crit chance snipe shot, so. And we're done. Yeah, let me do a quick do. Let me do a quick googly Google. Two thousand. It nearly is ten years old. It's ten years old next year. Wait, no. Fucking hell! It is twenty years. It's 20 years old next year. Fuck me. Twenty years old? I remember seeing this in theaters. Dang it, he's no longer depresso. My god, that Snorlax was a pain. If it wasn't that pink cushion, it would have been alright, because my um, Gigalith had body press. Alright, we have another encounter up ahead. Yeah. You think it would be, considering it's just been Halloween, and you know, Halloween's big for you over there. Trying to make some more shorts. <laughs> Let's get some more powerful Pokeballs. Like the film Spirit. <laughs> okay, thinking over what I'm doing for the Dark Gym, King is going to carry this, because obviously he's a fairy type. But the only concern I'd have would be his Toxicroak, 
no, not, to not Toxicroak, um, Skuntank. But I think Kalk can deal that just fine. Obviously, we've got a whole route to go through next, so. We're also going to kind of ignore the patch of grass on the side. Because there'll be a wider group of Pokemon in a minute. See? Team Meow. Last time I bumped into these two, they killed Flippin' Rocket. I have drink. just rubbing it in. I'm gonna make your Linoon suffer just like you made mine Linoon suffer. You have that. Uh, Why is the conversion against their uh, pounds and dollars again? Ooh, overdrive. This is a really good move, for Luna. Look what it does. The user attacks opposing Pokemon by twanging a guitar or bass guitar, causing a huge echo and shock vibration. And it's also going to work with um, Luna's ability of um, punk rock. You got the point though. It is a good film to watch, especially if you're into romance. Poor Dreadnought. Right, so now we'll get whatever we can find here. Let's heal up King first, though. Huh? Okay, our Route 9 encounter will be... Welmer. Okay. I was hoping for a Lapras, but I'm assuming that's a rare encounter. Maybe not then. <laughs> There's a love triangle though.
I don't know what I'm going to do about this Welma, though. But that's not an anime. That's not a reference to an animated character. <laughs> Alright, what, 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 what franchise is it called then? What franchise is this Pokemon from? Like, what, what franchise is the name? <laughs> I am not naming this Lumity. They deserve a lot better than that. Maybe a God of War or something. It's a male! <laughs> The customer's always right, I guess. Girls kissing. Alright. <laughs> Just to say, though, on YouTube... This wasn't my idea. I so stay in the boss box. I'm glad I've gotten you happy. For the record, if that was a shiny Wilma, I'm sorry I would have ignored you and named it Thanos. Boost the accuracy of moves. I might need that for coal, actually. Ah, Akira! I got peer pressured into naming a Wilmer a girl's kissing. The couple has reunited. This isn't... Wait, does it count? Please tell me it doesn't count. I do not want a Pukamuku. Then I'm killing it then. And double checking because if it... To type Wob effect. I hope it doesn't count, because then I automatically have to release it. Oh, don't free, sh uh, free shake shake out me, you stupid fucking cucumber. Nope, I'm running, I'm running. I don't, I am not catching a Pukamuku. It nearly risked the life of my flipping grooms now. Huh? 
Let me check. Yeah, it's all one room. So no, that doesn't count. Thank God. Right. Battle. Let's give Luna a shot, because there's a good chance this guy's a this person's a war type trainer. Let's try to overdrive them. I love that moves animation. Okay, I can't just do that to that. Let's get Funky Kong out. Yeah, um, how, how is your uh, gay fort machine? Are you, doing, you feeling any better? Obviously, you're going to be tired, but... Less boar worms. I'm assuming then you can, and assuming then they'll probably discharge you for good after the scan. Then nah, I, I doubt that, especially if they're looking to get get them a MRI scan. Oh, it's a random glalie. I doubt Avalanche will be any help right now. I'd assume so. It'd just be good for you to get home as well, though. And yeah, um... Oh, um... Tier 1, um, I'm not gonna bring it up, but, um... I'm sorry about, like, what you said the other day. Like... I'm just hoping what I'm doing here helps feel make you feel a tiny bit better. Not you too. You see a pure chaos when you're put together, you know that, right? No, you're pure chaos. I did 
didn't hurt you there, did I? Now I will. This fro can't hurt me. It's a fighting type that doesn't have anything to deal with a fucking Shadowler. Meg, you're getting into deviant art territory there, calm down. Who said us? I got an owie. <laughs> <laughs> what if we were to hit her? Then you'd be on a deviant of Fred story. That's what it'd be like. I need to sell those revives when I get the chance. How many other times have you said that? I'm surprised you haven't considered going over to Ireland to visit them at the hospital, frankly. Whoops. Stop looking at me like that, I'm a child. But they eventually got them again, didn't they? Water flying type. Don't do that again, please. That's very not nice. I just ran over my own toe with my own flipping chair. up again. Um Are you sure? Oh, there's something I need to do in the minute. Ooh. 
Ooh, great ratio. There we are. Next gym location. Does this count as spike muff? To be clear, if I caught a Lipard, I would have called a Keepo. Yes, I am weak. You had a hard time catching a Dalmise. I need to get away from this thing. Thank you. Right. I need to go into the settings because I need to explain this one. Um, in episode two, I bought Mo I fought Marnie the first time. I ain't kidding. I got copyright claimed for her battle theme. No other th no other theme in the game, but Marnie's theme. It was ridiculous. So for the sake of I don't want to get copyright struck again, I'm turning off the background music until I've finished Marnie. I really need to get hold of that band you told me about ages ago, Kira. This is the this is the person that took Ember away. I will avenge her. Um, I basically just said I had to turn down for the background music because uh, Marnie's feet. Excuse me, I don't. You don't fake out me. I fake out you. For some reason, Marnie's theme got copyright claimed last time I fought Marnie, so I had to turn off the background music. So it's going to feel a bit awkward. Uh, I might put something in the background to try and blanken it out in the YouTube video, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Yeah, it's the one theme I've been flagged for in the entirety of the playthrough so far. Talks a croak. I'm getting you out here. I need a psychic type. Badly. I actually might have a problem with Toxicroak here, actually. I have actually proof. This is why I wanted a Psychic type. Stuff in confusion, Luna. Good. Now Nuzlin. There we go. Now we'll hit another overdrive and then Toxic Pro should be done. And that's why I didn't bring in Chandelure. Yeah, a sucker punch. Bring King out again for that.
There we go. Time to bring out Cole for this one. This one's personal. Why do you keep referencing bugs around um, Anne? This thing took everything from me. I think I can do with that acid armor. Alright, done. Let's get the music back on. Feels weird without the music on. Yay. Echo. That's better. It's so weird that it completely cut off it. So weird. Hang on, let's go. There's something I gotta do. Yeah, you even get flagged if someone else is singing it as well, don't you? It's the song itself that gets flagged. Ah, uh, Spike Muff. Just gotta check the levels of Piers' Pokemon. I think we're good. It's around like level 40, level 56. Good. I would like to talk to his parents and ask why. This should be an easy gym. So. Especially since I've got Cole and um, King, so. Hmm. Why, why?
I will ask the game to Brian Cranston parents. Could have been Walter White. I am so confused right now. I know I will not learn one hammer. This is what you held with, Kira. You gave me the power to squish with my giant pile of rocks. According to Japan, apparently this is what we look like. There's lots of sentences I make that are very confusing. <laughs> and be watching my videos. Mr. Mom just fled town then. <laughs> yes, I will go. Um, just casually jump out of a window, yeah. Okay. Hello Anne, hope you're doing good. Uh oh. It's gonna be a risk, but right, right, right. I need to be a bit more careful here. Like I nearly lost some from them. Seen Jaden Animations video, by the way. They've uh, some. They've gotten themselves a cat. <laughs> yeah, they've got a cat now. Tostada, yeah. They. All oh, right. Well, the more recent video is they've actually. Um, Quartz up. Uh, they've um, released a new merch line. They can get like RE slippers now. <laughs> Ooh, item. Something I need to sell after this, Jim. I deeply apologize for that. I think this shouldn't be a problem.
moderate problem. <laughs> oh, Meg, you need to do an emote for this Discord for Anne. Like they've become they've become part of the community at this point. A Anne's just adorable. Hi, Anne. Hope you're having fun. I wonder how um, Tori's been doing with the whole thing that we've been talking about. Okay, we'll have to start with the King because he'll be dealing. He'll be bringing out his um, Scrafty first. Cool, bro. Cool, bro. Oh, double bow. Okay. Now it'll be time for our next wild area encounter. After this gym. Lifehard and Drapion. This is interesting. Enough with the kissing, Meg. Enough with the kissing. Dead. Because it keeps reminding me I don't have anyone. Oh, almost. I'll switch King out. There we go. Now it's just peers now. Okay. Come on, you can do this. You literally have thousands of hours on this franchise. As Mike, like, liked to really get it into my skin last night. Such a gob. We're British, aren't we, Mike? That went to a little bit of an Australian, didn't it? It was Mr. Morgan. Let's do this.
Oh, that appears. This Piers is ten times better. Even though he's literally trying to be Shadow. I think this guy is the perfect example of why this franchise needs voice acting. Mainly for that cutscene. Nate, I'm gonna knock you so far sideways, your hue saturation is gonna change. Unleash the dogs of war, King. Going, King. We just need you to go finally. A whopper. Ah. Obstagoony Looney. Let's get call out so that um. Eden Eager. Doesn't this thing have cross chop? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have timed that any better. You see, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly press this button here and make him go away. Goodbye. Oh, I was wondering why Cole mo moved first. No worries, that's just basically a protect move. There should be a list of how many names you've asked to be a baby girl. Honestly, if it wasn't for Sturdy, then we'd have had another loss. Funky Kong is quite bulky. Yeah, I thought you'd do that, that's why I did it. Alright, we're good, we're good. Man, that obstacle was rough. He took out Cole. Malamar. King should be able to take that out fine.
Yeah, keep telling yourself that one. Spirit broken. Now it's just gun tank. I'll use Emily, because at least then you'd be immune to the toxic. I don't do on course, get it? No songs, not moves, not Pokemon. Metro just redeems remind me to drink water, how evil. Yes, how evil is that? Okay. I'll survive one more Cyber Punch, I think. Alright, I'll switch out Luna next. Yeah, we got this. I've already drunken all the, uh, all the water I have. Aww, what a shame. I win. Meg, you're not gonna do that. That wouldn't even be entertaining. Good going, King. <laughs> Who else would even want that? <laughs> oh, don't start with the almost impossible shit. <laughs> One more to go. It is a female me, really, when you think about it. Snarl. I still love that big the cat one I did. Froggy. I might see what um Tori can do about that then. Unless you wanna take it. If unless you wanna do one. You are an assistant art designer if you want. If you want to see what you can do about a frog emote, I'm not stopping you. Man, this story could have been a lot better. I'll take the path back to Hammerlock and then we'll go from there to get to the wild area. Meg, you've woken up today and for kissing. Right.
Do you really think my character's um, clothing is really good, Meg? I just, I just put it together while I had some spare change. Yeah, Route 7. So this is the route I lost the more Pico to. You mean the old one? No! Next thing, you know, you, next thing you know, you're gonna say to me that I've got a fa sense of fashion when I don't. The only thing I know about clothing is, is it comfortable? Yes, wear it. And maybe put on a cap. And maybe because I know a bit about color theory. Safety goggles. As of today, I have the Edgeworth face plenty. Ah, good. I can't lie, I, I was a tiny bit upset that I lost the Megatron figure. I know that's how it went, but randomly Ben BB took it? Like, I didn't know Ben BB was into Transformers. It was also a bit annoying to find out before I started playing against Ben that Ben BB is the best player in that game. So it was like I was already in a losing fight. I wanted it. There we are. I am a believer. Unless you meant someone else. <laughs> Honestly, little guys, you guys need to go see Transformers 1. It's out of cinemas for most places now, but you can watch it digitally. I really recommend it. It has a lot more of an interesting story than you'd think. And yeah, um, I think when you said you should have made Professor Magnolia kiss, this is the person you meant. What song? Oh, right. You said Kiss Magnolia. I think you're talking about the Gingy over there. Thinking about the Dragon Gym now, I kind of think I might need to sack Emily because I don't see the fire typing helping in this situation. Same with Cole. Actually, no, like Luna. Luna and Emily might be sitting out in this one. But it's time for our next encounter table. I've been holding the specific area back for a reason. Mainly so it would be easier to get it when it's time. And I didn't go to it. So we're gonna take a long wrap. I have honestly been saving this this specific area of the wild area for this specific moment.
Well, considering she's a grandmother, I, I'm thinking maybe she might be married. Even that widowed. Here we are, Bridgefield. I'm assuming any keen-eyed people would see why I'm excited about this one. Okay. I better bring, um, Luna for the whole paralyzing thing. Fuck off, I'm not going anywhere near that flipping bear. It beware's the worst. Okay, our roaming encounter will be... That's Dupe's Claws, because we've already lost Rocket. Oh, a cub chew. Any famous polar bears? Well, at least it, it's a bear, but it's not a... It's a bear, but it's not a beware, so I'll take it. Oh, perfect. I don't think this is going to be any use, though. Because obviously Frost is going to be easier to get set up. Lars. Is that the name of a polar bear? Oh, you mean that really crappy one? Besides the female, um... No, that film was terrible. Ah, uh, female polar bear characters. There aren't many. <laughs> You're already doing that. It was one of those really bad films that don't even do the dubbing right. Um, oh, I know. Slush Rush, eh? about it. Overwatch. Yeah. Right, and the random encounter will be... A palpit. Wait, ground type. Oh boy.
people defending a really bad uh, polar bear film. And me trying to catch uh, mediocre Pokemon at best when I was trying to get a Noibert. Noibert. Do you even know what fucking film they're trying to defend? What's the promise? I think everyone's gone, no, no. <laughs> hmm. You really don't like Gen 5, do you? Just trying to think about different animated characters. I mean, like, like it's an anim animated frog, blah, blah, blah. It is a frog. Lotat's a pineapple. I know. Tiana. Is that how you spell Tiana? Shame though, we could have had Sneasel and mainly we could have had Noibat. Let me see, um, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seventeen, yeah. And yeah, um, Kira, that's what happened to the little boy. Froppy died. Along with Death Charge. I don't see any uses out of these Pokemon for the Dragon Gym. Obviously, it's going to be the hardest one. Huh? 
<laughs> but yeah, um, do you want me to repeat about what happened with um, Froppy, like the crow gunk? That Gengar took death charge from me. I've had some time to think about it as well. And the scoop is... We're not going to get through every part of the wild area by the time the game ends. So what's going to happen is... After the 8th gym, we're going to go over there. And then after that, when we arrive at Winden, we will go through the rest of the wild area that I haven't been to yet. And just get the rest of the encounters done then. And then at that point, that's it. I'm not allowed to catch another Pokemon. Fine, I take it back. Okay, let me have a think about this, because... This gym's going to be a lot harder than you think. Yes. That's what I meant. Let me see where I can get Togepi from. I highly doubt it though. Why specifically Togepi? Why, do you think, why specifically a Toga kiss with Flamethrower? Norm of the North is a charming and beautiful movie. Bridgefield. Yeah. I thought the film you were I thought the film you were talking about was Norm of the North. I'm so confused. Nani? The gun the score act on the score monarch just redeemed Nani. How easy. What film are you talking about then?
I've never I've never heard of that film before. Like I've I've never heard of that film before. <laughs> Start um, adding troops when you're ready. Are you bringing up help? I'm a fish now, or something? Here we go. This gym might be a bit tricky. I'm gonna get really messed around with when you two get the chance, don't you? Aren't you? What's going to make this hard is double battles. I do a lot of training in double battles, but obviously I don't have the resources to make the, this team work in a double battle format. The best thing I can do is put down stealth rocks, but <laughs> this team, the like, right hand team won't really care about that. Raihan is my favorite gym leader out of this, these eight, though. Pelipper and Slugger. Gonna need it. There we go. I miss my white tails. I miss my white tails. How evil. Yes, how evil indeed. Ah, flinch trap. Leon Kennedy. I'm just glad you're saying it properly and not the one way that I got wrong.
Okay, Ruby's putting in the work with this game, this one. John N.F. Kennedy. <laughs> Leon Simpson Kennedy. <sighs> Leon S. Kissy. Leon Soup Kennedy. <laughs> Soup. Soup. It's either... It's either hail... Or sun. Either way, I think Emily could help here. Leon Sabrina Carpenter Kennedy. I might have to deal with four years of Kennedy, not so frill. What'd you expect from my mods, tier one? What'd you expect from my mods? This is the Sun Team. What did I use on that? Uh -oh. oh, it flinched. I got it. Okay, I'm gonna have to try something with that. It's gonna keep spamming shell trap. Oh, you did not. Yes, it's not gonna do much. Oh, now you don't shell trap. I hoped for more from the American public. <laughs> the mods are fine. I just gotta keep spamming flamethrower on that Turtonator. Because it keeps doing that. Whoa, okay, no, that's dangerous. Very- oh no. Oh, thank god. I forgot I didn't hit turn in with that. Okay, this is where the stress begins. So much stress we go into Broadway. I'm getting king out now. I did not hit him, please don't hit me back. Take a flamethrower, it is good for you. Yay.
my girlfriend was telling me that she was really upset, so I flushed her little boobs, apparently. It doesn't work the other way. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I am having good timing, yes. I'm glad it, I don't have text to speech on this stream. Right, this one is ice, so Emily will definitely be useful here. Hey, gear of flipping antibiotics ain't working for you now. I'm sure that flipping response was gonna help. Okay, okay, we nearly lost King there. Okay, okay, so yeah, it's gonna be an ice. It's gonna be a hail team. I save. Well, they made you laugh, didn't it? Laughed is a bad medicine. A bomb is snow and hack up. A crit flamethrower. You mean Obama snow? Barack Obama snow. Okay, now it's time for the big one. This is arguably the hardest fight in the game, outside of the champion fight. Okay, uh -huh. and Funky Kong to deal with the Gigalith. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the is Ace though. Oh, shush. Let's do this. I, I, I don't have as much confidence as what I usually do with this fight. And yes, I do have some ground taps in the back I could have trained up, but... I don't think it would have been as productive. This actually feels quite... Climactic. Compared to the last gym fight. I guess. Flygon's dead, good.
It's a sad moment, I know, but... That's a bad thing. Alright, we'll use Muddy Water to try and get rid of Gigalith as well as Sandaconda. Hopefully Muddy Wall gets rid of these two at the same time. Let's go, Ruby! Double kill. Now we just 2v1 the Duraludon. Oh yeah. Luna's learning boom burst. Doubt my funky Kong, even though he's got brave nature, which means he should have been slower. Hmm. It's not impossible for me to still win. I want one of these in this so bad, but I know it's impossible. All right, let's start with a skull to hopefully try and burn it, and let's go King Kong on his ass. Get the funk, Meg. This Kong's king! Gonna be a bit. Is Funky Kong gonna take another G Max depletion? I'm not sure now. I don't want to lose my starter. Okay. I'm going to make a play. It's going to be a weird one. But if I deactivate Funky Cotton's G Dynamax and switch into King. Because it's obvious Duraludon is currently using Dragon type moves against Funky Kong. So if I switch Funky Kong into King, it'll make the move fail. And that means we have another chance against this. So what we're going to do is we're going to scold Duraludon again and then switch Funky Kong out for King. I know it's going to seem weird getting rid of my next two turns of Dynamax, but I don't think it's going to survive another move. Hmm. 
Oh, I'm a fucking legend! But now it's going to use a steel move against uh, King, so... I might have to switch it to Emily. Stealth rocks. Wait, no! Oh my god. Oh my god. That. I can't keep getting away with this. If that Duraladon hit my chandelier, I wouldn't have had a chandelier anymore. That was too close, lad. I thought I was I was big brain saving Funky Kong there. And then I thought I was gonna use a steel type move on my Grimstone now. I'll switch to something that resists steel. Why is it using a giant rock? No 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 no. Oh you hit my mermaid fish. Um, we nearly lost my chandelier. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I'll I'll recommend looking at the video tomorrow. But basically, Funky Kong wouldn't have been able to last another hit while Dynamax. So I switched it into my Grim Snow. It made the move void. No, no, but I nearly did. But I thought to myself, oh, now is going to use a um. A steel type move on my Grimmsnarl switch, which the Sandalure. It used Max Rockfall, and I'm thinking, shit, no, 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 no. It hit Ruby with the Rat Max Rockfall. For some reason. Oh, good lord. We nearly lost Emily there. I, I didn't have a surefire way to deal with that Duraludon, did I? I just gotta hope I can find something before I beat him again in the semi-finals. <sighs> it just shows how much faith you lot have in me. Flamethrower on um, Duraludon wouldn't have helped either. It's a Dragon Steel type, it would have been a neutral. The only thing genuinely good would have been like if I had a Machamp or a, a, a Powdon. <laughs> Except I'm not gonna piss on the earth! I'm gonna go higher! I'm pissing on the moon! No joke, I think I'll actually nickname it. <laughs> Can I ever get a Duraludon? There's got to be some potential for something there. Because, like, it's known for shooting beams. The space on the arc was called the... F the <laughs> was known for that. Alright, uh, Wind and Stadium is our next major battle zone. So we face Marnie first, then go. Heavy slam, high horsepower, and hammer arm. So do not bring Grimmsnarl to that. Okay. All right. Well, I, we we have two more encounters in the wild area, specifically the Lake of Rage, 
And then we will head up to Route 10. Doth mother know? You wear a red ribs. I love that line from the first Avengers film. Uh, Shakespeare in the Park? Does mother know? You wear red ribs. Uh. Well, he won't be as as far as we hear about for been Doctor Doom. Also, yeah, Akira, um, Ginger Lady has lab coat on. It's almost like that golf girl from Persona 5. <laughs> you know, the doctor. <sighs> that could have gotten a lot worse than what it did. I don't know. Like, I always thought it was like, a, a well known that it, he would never be a good idea for t Robert Downey Jr. to ever come back. Because it would kind of get remove the the sacrifice he gave to save the world from Thanos. If that makes sense to anyone here. All right, let's go to the Lake of Outrage and get two more encounters. And as I said earlier, what's going to happen is after we have beaten the 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 Champion Cup. I mean, like, uh, you know, like, we face Marnie and uh, Hop. After we've beaten them, we'll get every other encounter field in the wild area we haven't gotten already. And then at that point, that's all I'm allowed to catch. Hey, if they did it for a way for it to work, then I'm not complaining. I am sticking to my name theme, Meg. I am going to make sure that the <laughs> that whatever I catch has a f has a reference to an animated character, that being a TV show, a film, or a game. Channing Tatum might actually get his Gambit movie. Huh. All right, I gotta make a name to myself. Here we are, the Lake of Rage. That could be useful, actually. All right. Our rumming encounter will be... Oh, that's interesting, Amanda Buzz. I wasn't thinking, like, what are these? These things can be really bulky and helpful. Um, wait. Oh, that isn't fair. That is not fair. I got whirlwinded. All right, please, can I can I try again? That wasn't. I didn't know Mandibuzzes could have whirlwind. Can I? Am I allowed one more try, please? That's the only time I'm going to be asking for this. Am I allowed one more try to get a roaming encounter? Big underscore at underscore monic just redeemed JJJ James and Spider-Man laugh how evil. Are you serious? Two out of three, Kira. Now let me make it so all these Pokemon despawn so it's a still a random encounter. And I can't, if you're wondering, I can't pick up this Leafeon, I've already got an evolution. Right. Our roaming encounter will be... Please not be Mandibuzz again. That's Stoops Claws, because I've already got a Golette in the boxes.
How many go looks I'll have? At this rate, we could just fill up the whole inhabitants of Cybertron with these Golurks. Alright, I'll take that. I'll be him. I'll be him. Be him. Be him. I'll name him Marvin. Yeah, Marvin works. I'll name him Marvin. Uh oh. Wow. You are getting out of there. Marvin the Martian. Also, we nearly lost Luna. I do not want to lose Luna. Luna's been really good to me. Okay, Marvin's caught. Planet Girl Kessa. What, Meg? Oh, telepathy. How do I get there? Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, my choices were very scarce. I guess I wasn't allowed a Braviary. Let's get out of this patch of grass before I lose Luna. Right. The random encounter is...
egg. You don't think you want to know the answer to that question. It's got a mark. Have you not seen the film Brother Bear? I can easily change it. Oh, a soul vest. That's really good, actually. I think Sigilith might have been better, to be honest. <clears throat> Hold on. How do you know how to spell Coda if you haven't seen Brother Bear? Hmm. Let's go with it. I could have had a Lapras. Lapras is a cool. Ooh, Shadow Claw. That could be helpful. It was exciting to get a Mandibles, and then it just got blown away. That was mean. Seen it in the anime, it's horrible. It's like it's got terrible ability, clots. And while this useless cutscene is playing, I'll get streamers going. <laughs> My guy's on a bike. I think it'll be as long as us being, um,. Marnie and Hop. And then we'll... And then it'll be the case of getting all the other encounters left, and then that'll be it then. I 
And obviously, I don't know how long that's going to take yet. Okay, so I am going to avoid the patch of grass that we'll first see, and we'll get the encounter, and the patch of grass will come up too. And since we'll be dealing with a bunch of ice types, we'll be using Cole and Emily for this bit. <laughs> this is technically the game's victory road. Okay, that's a god of war. That's what happens when you kiss. There we go. A Corbinite. Something I really wanted to use. Hopefully we'll still be able to though. want a kiss, don't you, Meg? People like kissing. Okay, the patch of grass up ahead is where we'll be getting the Route 10 encounter. Okay, the final main route of the game encounter will be a Sneasel, okay, this could be useful, although I've already got ice and dark.
Um, again, why, why, what's with the kissing? Uh, what's with the kiss situation here? Like, it's wor worrying. What's worrying me? I'll name this Karai. No, wait, no, it's a male, so. Also, what's all the kissing? It's a male. So... Oh, I got it! 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 I got it. Morgana. Kenai. That is literally the worst nature a Sneasel could have. <laughs> yeah, isn't this a cat? I've already got something named Sniper. What does that look like, Morgana? People are so picky with my the name my name choices, aren't they? Thank you. Besides, I needed some sort of persona references in my nicknames. Okay, so six, twelve, seventeen, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's just there's twenty now. There's um three Pokemon in the Poker Jobs thing. That's why. There. And yeah, um, Kira, while you were away, I was explaining this, but yeah, that's what happened with Froppy. <clears throat> Froppy and Dev Charge sadly died earlier in the stream, in the playthrough. I don't have that interesting of a roster here. I think at this point, all these Pokemon are mainly here when these guys might die. Because obviously, Gastrodon's there to replace Ruby. Sneasel will replace Grimmsnarl. I don't. Um, I do have a few ghost types available for Emily. I've got that uh, Apple in there that can be an Appleton whenever I want it if. The worst case scenario happens, Funky Kong dies. Cole is the worst case scenario though, because he might be the only way we can get away with doing the champion fight of any issues. And I have no idea what I'm going to do if we lose Luna, because all we've got is a Electric. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. So I just got to hope that when we come back to the wild area, we'll get some more interesting encounters. <clears throat> No, it was Chunky that had a funeral. It was Chunky. Funky is a legend. I might as well boom burst this. And then there's Chunky. He's dead. No!
Luna just got hit by a shit cold. Guys, I actually feel like crying. I, I'm not joking. Like, Luna was really good. This is why I never wanted to do Nuzlocks. I get too attached to these guys. That toxicity was awesome. Oh, Luna. I named you after one of the Hex girls. What the heck am I gonna fucking replace Luna with now? She was my only good electric type. There's only one thing I can see myself using that would actually pull something off. And I'm gonna hate every minute of it. <sighs> if you say anything about this. Megro just redeemed among us report how evil. At the moment, I'm grieving, so don't get used to this. I'm saving now for the worst case scenario of um, Funky Kong going. Besides, um, fighting a normal does cover a few weaknesses I've had for a while. Mainly um, Hops, Hot Snorlax. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping that Applin for if um, Funky Kong goes. Too much of a glass cannon. It was either Coda or um, May. Or if anything, even Doug Trio. But at the moment, I need to cover against um, the big coverages that fighting gives, like right hand Duraludon and and um, Hobbs Snorlax. Unless we get some really good encounters when we do the wild area, I ugh. of all things, a one hit KO move. That is like the worst way you can lose a Pokemon. Oh, this is horrible. They put in so much work. If I ask anyone else, they've been saying I'm overreacting, but. No way. Oops. Wrong one.
I honestly, ugh. As if I needed a reason to be upset. I even learned Boom Burst as well. Let's see if there's any moves I can learn in my TM list. This is interesting. Guys, I'm sorry I'm being quiet all of a sudden, but honestly, just it's really hit me hard, harder than I was expecting. That one talk strizzity got me through a lot of problems. Just hurts. 
That was the same um, toxicity you get in the first daycare you bump into as well. Alright, Mega. I'll speak to you later, okay? Fair thanks for stopping by as well. I think I remember that, yeah. Old show, wasn't it? I don't know how you're supposed to keep the level cap at this part of the game, because it just there's too much stuff to level you up. Yet the level cap at the by the time you get to the uh, Winden Stadium is like in the four is 49. But as you can see, I've already just blown that out of the water. Alright Kira, um, I hope everything to the hospital and please keep us updated, okay? The sooner, we, the sooner you're out of that um, hospital, the better. I'm sorry I'm, me getting upset like this is kind of ruining the moment. And that's kind of upsetting even more knowing that I could have had me best boy. Good 
Thank you, Emily. Um, right. Looking at the time at the moment, I think I might need to rearrange the idea that I had for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two areas of the wild area done now instead. And then do the rest after we've done the room. That makes sense. Man, lads, it really it really hurt that. Right, let's go to two areas of the wild area and then we'll call it a day then. Okay, so We've been to that one, we've been to that one, that one, that one, that one. We haven't been there. We haven't been there, 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 there. We'll do these two. encounter for this area will be a dwebble. Okay, we'll take a dwebble. I'll name her Mrs. Krabs. Because there's no other characters I can think of that are to do with crabs. Or oh, actually Toph makes it. Yeah. We'll name we'll name her Toph. I can see um Toph owning a level. 
That's a decent nature. Hey, what did it say I caught it? No flake my luck. The random encounter in this area will be... A stunky. Okay. Man, I keep getting female cat- female and both one. Oh, critical capture. Okay. Yeah, I've already got the dog type. The worst thing about this, it feels like it feels horrible replacing for the Luna. Stella. Female, skunk, Stella. Hmm. Yeah. Ability to flinch better. That's two more in the box. Alright, that's the North Lake Lowerick done. Alright, the giant seat. The roaming encounter will be... A ghastly. I've already got the chandelier, so this will probably be another reserve for uh, her. Hmm. I think I should call it Dutchman. Oh no, Cheshire. Damn, Cheshire. I won't say, I won't call it Cheshire Cat, but I'll call it Cheshire. Another really bad nature, wow. Okay, depending on things, I might need some help uh, evolving that. Okay then, lads, our random encounter for this part of the world area will be a... A Machoke. Okay, that... that might be good. So I have access to Gengar and the champ now. Mm. At least the champ might be a bit more useful to use than um the where is. 
And also I like my champ more than Beware. Who's known to be a very buff female anime character? Uh, Zarya is too easy. What's the name of that boss? The first boss you've beat in Hi-Fi Rush? Rooka or something. Oh, I can't remember her name. Rekka. Yeah, Rekka be really good for this. Go on, and what neg what really bad nature does the uh, Rekka have? The very worst, being modest. No guard though, which means I could use dynamic punch on it. I'll keep it in the box for now. I'm gonna need a lot of training. Okay, that's this area of the world area done. I could have had a bit sharp. Okay, we'll do one more area, and I think that's going to be the axe use eye. Our roaming encounter for the Axe's Eye will be... A Bronzo. That could be something that could... Hey, that, that's covering a lot of stuff my team doesn't have yet. Yeah, Dios can be in raids. Yeah, Bronzo could be helpful. Oh yeah, it got Wolfie VGC World Championship. Yeah, just lo looking at my team, like, we could use a Bronzong. I don't have a quick I don't have quick balls at the moment. I think I should name this Quasimodo. Ah, fuck the French. Um, how'd you spell Quasimodo again? Uh, 
Oh, it's all one word. Oof. I'll still name it Quasimodo, though. I do think Quasimodo could help you, though. Levitate, that's helpful. Really good nature. For once. Okay. Just the random encounter in Axu's eye and then we're done. And then off camera I'm gonna have to do a lot of um, digging around to see if any of these caught Pokemon could help us. Twenty-one. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Just one more encounter for the day. Dupes close because we've already got this. Like we already tried to counter this and it didn't go well. Ooh, a clink? A clink that? I wouldn't mind trying to use a clink clang. I honestly think though that Rekka could be a good addition to the team. And maybe I might have to rip Oof. I am gonna have to think a lot here. I know what this is gonna be called. TM for air slash, that could be helpful. Okay, let's get back to Wyndham. Okay, so as of now, we've done all of oh, this one, this one, this one. I don't know how that's gonna work. That one, that one, and that one, and obviously the one we're at now. We haven't done that one. 
We haven't done that one. We've done that one, that one, and that that one, and that one, and that one. So we need to do the Giant's Cap, Hammerlock Hills, Mosdog Riverbank, South Lake Mylock, and West Lake Axwell. Those will be the last few Pokemon encounters. And then that's it. <sighs> Obviously, I'll give it another go on Monday. If I'm available to. If not, I'll let you know up at first hand. Yeah, so that whole excursion we got. Ugh. Toph the Dwebble, Stella the Stunky, Cheshire the G the Ghastly, Rekka the Machoke, Quasimodo the Bronzong, and Vector Prime the Clink. Yeah, I'm gonna need to think this over a bit. I think so far the best change I can make is maybe add Rekka. And just see how that goes. And then just keep the team as it is. And then just replace any team member that might re be gone. Because now I have a replacement for everything now. Emily, I've got Iron Giant and Frost. They're doing poker jobs right now. Funky Kong, I've got Appleton there. Cole, I now have Toph. And I might put Quasimodo there as well. King, I've got Stunk... Uh, King, I've got uh, Weavile for. Coda will be replaced with Rekka. And if Ruby goes down, I've got quite a few options here. Mainly, it's going to be Turbo, though. Because the extra ground type could help. And hey, I might even mix it up and add like maybe May to help with some dragon types or something. All I know is Hawkgirl is going to be somehow used as a um, death fodder if it comes to it. Oh, Luna, I'm sorry I did that to you. Alright then. That'll be it for the stream today. Um, I, ho I thank you everyone who showed up today. It really was quite interactive today and I loved it. Oh, we'll do um, stream raiders as well first. I'll do that all again in a minute. Yeah, <clears throat> that'll be the end of the stream now. Um, thank you everyone for watching, and thank you all for stopping by the stream. It was more, much more interactive today, and I appreciate that for everyone here. Uh, but yeah, um, if you like, if you reached this part of the video, I'm sure you must have liked it then. So please consider liking and subscribing. We uh, stream every Monday afternoon, 
Friday night and Saturday night if you want to stop by and see me li live. There I am. And uh, yeah, and please let me know how painful losing Luna was to you because it was actually really painful for me. <laughs> Alright, tier one, um, I'll see you next stream. It'll be Monday afternoon. And uh, for everyone else, uh, thank you all for watching. I I hope to see you again next time, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.